Uh, President, my question is to the Minister for Small Business. Minister, you've received emails from a number of Victorian events industry businesses, small businesses. Sadly, these emails point to the devastation in Victoria's event industry. They seek the following. Direct financial support to event industry businesses, including suppliers, based on the Tasmanian Small Business Grants for the events industry. They also seek COVID cancellation, underwriting or insurance to help event organisers deal with the huge costs if an event does, not have to, or do, does have to be cancelled due to COVID. So, Minister, I ask, will you replicate the Tasmanian model of small business support and will you advocate for cancellation of insurance support for the Victorian events industry? Minister Pulford. Thank you, President. I thank Mr Davis for his question uh, about the effects of the events industry. And members may have um, ha had the opportunity as they entered the building this morning to speak with uh, people from the events industry. Some of them gathered um, on, at the steps of the parliament to express, I guess, their ongoing frustration uh, and I guess in some respects they're dismay with the circumstances that their industry faces. It has been and continues to be an incredibly challenging time for the events industry. And of course the events industry is a very broad and diverse group of businesses. Um, so uh, there are um, those that support uh, the hosting of uh, very, very large events. Think uh, Australian Open. Um, I see everyone's got their Richmond colours on today um, in, in, in preparation for what will be the single biggest gathering of people in Victoria um, in in now a year, um, right down to um, much smaller local community events um, like fates, uh, like business conferences and meetings. And so the industry has been significantly impacted by uh, disruptions and in the correspondence that I've received from the events industry, um, they and, and the timing I think for their, for their public statement uh, today uh, is that they're, um, they are uh, particularly concerned about the imminent end to JobKeeper, which has been providing and still provides um, to this day uh, income support for uh, very many of them because they're still eligible because their uh, level of business activity is still very significantly impacted. Um, so the Victorian government has been supporting the events industry and uh, whilst I can't recall immediately the value of the Tasmanian package, but um, I'm advised uh, by our department that the events industry uh, support to date um, is uh, in the order of $57 million, uh, more than 6,300 coronavirus support grants uh, and payments uh, across 16 programs. There are, of course, a number of programs that are still open to people in the events industry um, to um, uh, to provide support for them as they change. Um, the, um, sorry, this, a um, few interjections. The, um, so the, so, uh, you know, we will, um, you know, we, we have, Sorry, it was just the nattering. It was momentarily distracting. Anyway, um, so, so we have, um, I certainly well aware of the issues, have met with the industry. Um, we're very pleased to have been able, able to provide an excessive 6,000 grants to the industry. And, uh, you know, I would certainly urge the federal government to continue to provide these people with income support. Thank you. Mr. Order, Mr. Davis on the supplementary. Um, President, I think many in the events industry will be very disappointed with the minister's response there because she doesn't hasn't come to grips with what is required. The model they've proposed, based more on the Tasmanian uh, model, but also insurance support, and she really hasn't touched that key point at all, and I urge her, in fact, to do that. But my question to follow up is, my supplementary question is, Minister, the letter also calls for the release of the long-promised guidelines for business events. When will these critical guidelines for business events be released? Uh, thank you. Um, and uh, in a discussion I had this morning uh, with one of the representatives of this industry, um, there was 
I think some confusion about the most recent changes made to the event um, framework, the public events framework. Um, there's been some changes, and indeed Mr Lane referred to them uh, in question time yesterday, to enable um, a smoother and more streamlined approval of events. Uh, and, um, and so uh, I, I, I undertook this morning to provide some further advice uh, to industry in relation to those most contemporary changes. And um, as has been the case throughout this pandemic, uh, the government will listen to the health advice about uh, when it is appropriate to further review restrictions. Um, but again, I would encourage um, all members of the Victorian community uh, to uh, participate in the events that they used to, uh, to host and, uh, and hold the events that they used to uh, because it's so critically important to get these people back to work. Um, much of what they were doing before the pandemic is now permitted you, under Minister. the current restrictions.